Hello and welcome to the 11th tutorial in the jQuery basic series and in this part we're going to be looking at callback functions. Callback functions is something that we've technically been using or all, all throughout and also we've been discussing as well. We'll be using the source code from tutorial 2 for this tutorial so if you don't have that don't worry there'll be a link in the description to the source code or you can implement it directly into your own project. Basically a callback function is executed after the current effect uh, is completely finished. JavaScript statements are executed line by line however with effects the next line of code can be run even though the effect is not finished. This can create errors. To prevent this you can create callback functions and a callback function is executed after the current effect is finished. So let's just show you how to use callbacks. It's going to open up our website in a text editor. Going to open up the JavaScript file as well. Now in the HTML file, we're just going to add a button. And we're for the button, we're just going to type the text button. We're going to add a div. For the div, we're going to put hello. And that's it for the HTML side. Now what we're going to do in our jQuery is dollar. We're going to select the button. Button dot click function. This technically here is a callback. This is something that we've been doing. So we so is this we're just calling a function. This is an inline function. And let's just go down semicolon. What we're going to do is dollar div dot hide so after five sec five thousand milliseconds it will hide or you'll take five thousand milliseconds to hide and we're gonna put function so this is our function callback so we were saying we do the effect the speed the du or duration or whatever you want to call it and then the function and for the function we do bracket bracket semicolon and in here it's going to put alert the paragraph is now hidden now if you run this in a web browser and we click the button Notice it waited till the entire effect is finished or till the entire element is hidden, then it produced the alert. And if we just. What you can also do is to specify a function name. So, what we're going to do is outside here, uh, function alert function. In here, we're just going to put alert. Exactly, we'll just copy and paste this, that'll be a lot quicker. And for now, we're just going to comment this out. And instead of putting a function in line here, what we will do is just specify the function name so alert function you don't put any brackets there you just put alert function index.html refresh make sure this is properly refreshed click the button it produces the same effect as the inline function. Obviously with this the function can be reused several times so it's a lot neater as well so the general preferred method 
will be this but sometimes you can use that one as well and that's it for this tutorial we looked at callback functions in the next tutorial we're going to look at chaining within jquery if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or directly message us via youtube or the required link for the source code will also be in the description and as usual thanks for watching and have a nice day